I love it when I can bring you guys good news and, and heart touching stories, uh, rather than people getting robbed and murdered for PlayStations. This is PlayStation news, but it's finally some good news. And I think it's endearing, and I think it's beautiful, and I like the way it was dealt with by this young man's parents. There's a little boy, a uh, seven-year-old kid, in school, doing well, who's a big game fan. He loves video games. He even has some old consoles. Make sure you guys click on the link in the description so you can see the actual news video of this, because it's very cute. But this kid did something really great, and, you know, he took a chance. <laughs> because, you know, if it was me as a kid, and I tried that, I probably would have got strung up somewhere. And got beat with a racetrack. But this kid, he wrote a, a very cute letter to his mother. He tried to pose as his own teacher and tell his mother, you know, this information she needed so that he could become a better student. But I'll drop a link in the description, but you guys definitely check out the video. Seven year old fake school note to play video games. Eagle Mountain, Utah, one seven year old went to great lengths to try to trick his parents into more video game time. Nathan Anderson pretended that his school wrote a letter to his parents to convince them to let him stay up all night playing video games. <laughs> it's really cute when you see the letter, too. He left the handwritten note on his mom's counter, and it read, quote, Dear parents, Nathan has been doing good in all his classes. He's only seven years old. So he's a smart kid. He's got classes. Except for video game class. <laughs> this kid's a genius. If he does not stay up all night playing video games, he will be kicked out of school, end quote. So that was his letter to his mother. His mother, Lori, wasn't fooled because, of course, it was a cute little letter by a kid. But she was so amused that she posted his efforts to social media where it got millions of views. Nathan wasn't too particular in what kind of video game he asked for. The note indicated that games on his Wii, iPad, and computer were all fine. So she, <laughs> she actually let the kid play video games all night. I think that's a beautiful thing. You know, it's good to get your kid. Some people will say, no, video games fry your brain. No, video games fortifies imagination. You know, my daughters, you know, they're four and six, but they come up with some ingenious ideas all the time. And it's video game type stuff. They'll write a letter. Nova will write me a letter. And it's some kind of crazy stuff that she's imagining in her mind. And one day she might be able to use that to better this world. You know, when, when you just stick to the script, and you, you send your kids just to school every day and they're just regurgitating the same information that you got and they're going to end up being just like you. Let your child embrace different things and, and imagine different worlds and, and playing video games. As long as you're not running around shooting people all the time or just playing basketball, let them enjoy it. And this young man, seven years old, obviously he has a good imagination because he imagined a world where a teacher would tell his mom or his dad that he's doing great in every class except video game class. So way to go, Nathan. I think that's a great little story, and it touched my heart, so I wanted to share it with you guys. If you'd like to see the video uh, and the note that this young man actually left to his mother, click in, on the link in the description and watch that because it's great. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave your comments. Let me know how you feel about it. Have you ever tried to prank your parents to get something? Did it work, or did you get the racetrack? Let me know. Be sure to give a thumbs up. Show support for my channel. Join the Facebook group. Follow me on Twitter. And if you'd like to support this independent YouTube channel, please visit my Patreon, link in the description. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.